and i think even the even the napster uh, story shows right how you know how people were uh, itching to share music right uh, apart from all of the piracy concerns you know the fact that metallica had to go and sue a platform uh, because people were just sharing music with each other uh, shows like how powerful that behavior is right Hey folks, welcome to First Check Portfolio Shorts. My name is Noah Martins and this is a series where we speak to founders of our portfolio companies so that you get to know their team, understand what they are building and the problem they are trying to solve. If you like the content that we've been putting out, do like, share and subscribe so that we can reach more founders and startup enthusiasts like you. Today's very special guest is Prithvi Sankar, co-founder of Hummit. Hummit is a social media platform for bite-sized audio sharing and discovery. Their app is a great way to find new tunes and also to flex your music and talent discovery chops to your friends. I had a really fun conversation with Prithvi and it's so cool to see him and his team innovating in this space and changing the way people interact with music online and each other through it, truly making it a fun social experience. Stick around till the end of the episode to learn more about Hummit. Prithvi, thank you so much for joining me. It is a pleasure to host you. Likewise. Awesome. So let's start by talking about the problem that you are trying to solve right now. Right so the problem we are trying to solve is that of uh, you know music discovery. So what we have realized over a period of time is that uh, you know music is intrinsically social and this is fairly evident from the fact that you know people exchange playlists, they fight over aux cables during road trips or social gatherings uh, and you have you know metal heads who always prefer to sport band t-shirts all the time. So there's a lot of signaling around people's taste in music. but at the same time streaming platforms are fundamentally designed for private listening and that's a problem that we faced ourselves first hand uh, you know as co-founders uh, back in college and even now uh, so that's essentially what you know led us to uh, led us to building hummit uh, you know before before it started uh, becoming a company we had already built the product purely because we wanted to see something like this exist uh right so yeah long story short we wanted to solve for social music discovery uh which is currently unsolved for uh and the problems with uh, you know existing streaming services and their recommendations are quite a few you know what you get recommended is a function of what you listen to right and you know if you remove this out of the equation and you uh you know bring in a social factor uh that's when people you know end up getting introduced to a lot of new musical genres and you know music that they would have otherwise never discovered right yeah uh, i think i'd he- heard you only previously describe it as you know walking through your hostel and going into a friend's room and uh, hearing what they're listening to and discovering music that way so that kind of experience there isn't really a place to do it online yet yeah awesome and i think even the even the napster uh, story shows right how you know how people were uh, itching to share music right uh apart from all of the piracy concerns you know the fact that metallica had to go and sue a platform uh because people were just sharing music with each other uh shows like how powerful that behavior is right yeah right so talk to me more about the solution what does the app look like what is the user user journey like on the platform itself right so think of hummit as a love child between spotify and reddit uh so today hummit lets you share discover and engage uh with other like minded listeners uh by sharing the most powerful moments from your favorite songs uh on to these community driven playlists that we refer to as stations right so uh think of it as a massively collaborative playlist uh that you can create on the app uh and in terms of how the the user journey goes uh users come to the app uh they currently log in with spotify uh, because that's the streaming service we are integrated with uh eventually we'd be opening it up for apple music as well as youtube music as well uh and once you know once you sign up using uh, your streaming service that is when we import a lot of your uh, data from the platform uh and we generate a profile for you and then you know it's all about uh, you know we recommend certain stations that you need to follow based on your taste in music Uh, as well as other people that you might be interested in um over the course of your interaction with the app uh 
so that's essentially how the app mechanics work right awesome and what's the growth been so far how many users do you all have right now what is the activity looking like right uh, so over the past 6 months we've uh, sort of been in a you know close beta uh, so all of the growth so far uh, you know which is to the tune of about uh, 25 to 30% uh, month on month in terms of new user acquisition uh, so that's been like the consistent growth rate for the past couple of months uh, ever since we launched um so right now i mean when we started we had about uh, you know 1000 users uh and right now we have a community of close to 20000 users from over 140 countries uh oh. okay that's pretty cool and what does the team look like right now right so uh, we are a fairly lean team you know given that we are building a consumer social product uh with a heavy focus on engineering and design uh so most of our team is you know comes from a engineering slash design background so we have out of the 15 members you know closely 10 uh 10 12 members who are from a tech slash design slash product background uh we have a couple of uh you know folks who help us out with growth marketing and community side of things nice okay what is the story of how you and your co-founders met how did y'all meet and uh, an addition to that question since y'all are growing and i assume y'all are going to be hiring if not now then eventually in the future what wh- why should somebody want to join your team and build hamet with you right uh, so the origin story of hamet uh, goes back to when we were in college where i met both of my co-founders so this was in 2014 when i joined bits pilani to pursue my undergrad and pretty much since the first time we met we largely connected over a shared interest in music and you know over a period of time it just uh, you know became fairly evident to us that you know music is uh, is intrinsically social right um, a lot of friendships are forged around music uh, taste and often times people tend to judge each other based on you know taste in music this these are like natural human tendencies uh so that got us you know thinking further and we uh, looked at streaming platforms uh you know most of them are you know fundamentally designed for private consumption uh so we thought you know what if there existed a social music streaming platform uh, what would that look like right but back then we did not know anything about building apps we knew nothing about licensing content so we decided hey let's build these communities on existing social platforms right mm-hmm. so we created this uh, facebook group called fine tuning uh, which started as a you know college affair which had like 30 40 folks to begin with and eventually within a couple of months it just exploded to more than 10000 members uh, wow. pan india right and uh, there were hundreds of folks who would you know come to the forum every single day uh, listen to tracks that are being shared and also discover uh, sorry also end up sharing music uh, from their catalogs uh, so that became an interesting uh, you know side thing uh where you know we had this active community uh you know growing for about 2 to 3 years uh, but then over a period of time we realized you know this format or this solution of music discovery and sharing uh, in the form of links using existing social platforms wasn't really cutting it right uh because of a bunch of reasons firstly uh you know these platforms like a facebook or a whatsapp are not designed for audio in the sense that not always do you go to these platforms with the intent of listening to something and secondly these uh you know these apps uh, often force you to or these links rather force you to switch between apps right which typically people do not prefer doing and thirdly if it's a spotify url and you know you're an apple music listener uh then you know tough luck you still have to you know sort of manually search for that track and even if you are a spotify listener you have to spend uh you know about 4 to 5 minutes listening to the entire jam in the hopes of liking it and because of all of these reasons there was really no feedback loop that was getting created in this process uh so that's you know when when it occurred to us that you know what would be much better uh would be a social media application which was fundamentally designed for the audio experience right and uh, but unfortunately you know by the time we had this realization we had graduated you know picked up day jobs uh so we decided to shelve this for a while thinking that you know facebook or a spotify uh, or a youtube would build something similar uh, but that did not happen and you know two years later uh, certain interesting trends like the fact that 
you know, streaming platforms had opened, you know, had started opening up their APIs uh, mm-hmm. through which we could access their catalog of music, uh, which meant that we did not have to worry about licensing content ourselves, right? And yeah. secondly, the whole wave of short form content uh, over the past decade or so uh, sort of gave us the confidence that, uh, you know, that this is something that's worth building. Uh, and we noticed this massive white space, you know, when it comes to uh, social audio, right? And uh, we decided to build Hamid, you know, firstly for ourselves more than anything. And eventually, like once we started seeing those early signs of engagement and, you know, a lot of customer pull, uh, that is when we decided to build the company. Right. Awesome. All right. And what about why people should w- want to join your team? Right now, like I mentioned, you know, what started off as like a three member team uh, over the period of one year is now like 15 members strong. And, you know, there are a couple of things that, you know, we really sort of, we live by Uh, the fact that, you know, we want to focus on customer delight, right? So, uh, and and by that, I mean, uh, you know, going into the depth of uh, each and every design element, each and every uh, copy that goes into not just your product, uh, but every single touch point uh, across social media, website, etc., has to be picture perfect. If you ask me, you know, reason for why someone should join Hamid is, uh, is just one thing, right? So there's, if you look at, you know, historically, you know, India has been a services industry, like a lot of services company has uh, been born out of India serving global clients. But if you look at the consumer uh, space, right, there are very few examples of products that have been built from India for the world, right? Mm-hmm. And we really want to change that because we feel that the next uh, TikTok or the next, uh, you know, the next big thing in uh, social media could come from India, right? right? And uh, if there's anyone who is excited about, uh, you know, building a global product uh, in the consumer space, uh, Hamid is the place to be. Nice. Awesome. I love it. Uh, I'm going to ask you one last question before I let you go. And this is usually my favorite question to ask any entrepreneur. So um, throughout a founder's journey, uh, there are all of these highlight reel kind of moments, which just, I guess, make you have to pause and uh, really let uh, the gravity of what you're doing sink in because you're actually doing something that's working in some way. So uh, do you have any such story that you could tell me of a highlight reel moment from your journey so far? Right. So there's something um, interesting you know, that surfaced a couple of weeks back. So as part of our routine, uh, you know, conversations with our power users, uh, we, you know, noticed this uh, strange pattern where, you know, there was a large volume of uh, text messages being exchanged, right, by a couple of users. Uh, so we tried to get on a call with them to see, you know, why they're using the chat feature, although that's not the front and center of the app. Uh, and we ended up realizing that, uh, you know, a couple of our users had started, uh, you know, dating each other uh, virtually wow. right through the pandemic, uh, which essentially meant that, you know, people across borders were now meeting through Hamid uh, mm-hmm. and finding, you know, future partners uh, on the platform. So that's been, uh, that, that was completely new. We were extremely, uh, you know, shocked to hear that because what we had been building was, uh, you know, a music discovery app, but now people are discovering other people uh, based on similar taste in music. So there's an interesting opportunity even there, uh, right? For us to, uh, you know, not just focus on music discovery, but also sort of double down on people discovery. That's awesome. That's super cool. Uh, and it's, it's genuine. I, I love the, the space that you're in and the idea that you're working on. And it is very cool to see reactions like this and other ones on the app itself. So, um, Kudos to you guys and um, here's wishing you all the best. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Awesome. It was my pleasure. Thanks so much for inviting me.